Hi, everybody. It's good to be back. Oh, my goodness. That was a mad... Oh, hello, bear with. That was a mad six weeks holiday, that was. Okay, that's going to have to do there, I think. That will have to do there. Um, yeah, that was a mad six weeks holiday. So hello to everybody. I'm just going to get my tablet up and running. So I can see everybody. Bear with, bear with. Um, <coughs> I've got a bit of a cough. Um, morning, Veronica. Morning, Susie. Morning, morning, Teresa and Karen. Hello, hello, everybody. Hopefully my tablet will stay up to date. Hopefully. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to hold on a second, wait for people to come in, and then we will make a start. How's everyone's summer's been? <coughs> We've all had a good time. We all managed to go on holiday. I know I have. <laughs> I've been, <laughs> been all over the place. Um, I did. I did Switzerland in May. That well, wasn't the summer, was it? But I did Switzerland in May. And then this year I've done, well, during the summer I did Norwich. I went to Norwich for four days for a church conference. Did Shropshire beautiful place really beautiful stay in a wonderful house um and then uh did germany about a week just over a week ago for four days again with church so yeah very busy 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 and we've just got a new kitten as well bless her little bundle of fluff that she is uh <clears throat> she's only eight weeks old well probably nine weeks now but she's tiny and uh, i've had to put her away in a room by herself for now just while i'm doing my live stream because it's going to get a bit hectic if she's down here. So, yeah. Right, we'll just hold on a little bit longer. We've only got eight people at the moment, so let's just wait a little bit. Oh, 15. We've just jumped to 15. Fantastic. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer, and then we will make a start. Just checking that my chat is updating, because I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sparkly Lady, hi. And Shelly, hi. <coughs> I've got a bit of, I don't know, I've been fine all morning and now, just I'm about to go live, I have a bit of a dusty cough. So you'll have to bear with me. Um, with the edited live streams, I think I've pretty much done all of them now. I think I've maybe got one left to edit. So yeah, so I'm going to try, I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm going to try to edit my live streams and get them up uh, during the week at some point. Uh, whether that will happen or not is another matter. Uh, what's her name? Her name is Popsy. So I already have Pepsi and now we have Popsy. We did struggle for a name because we were thinking along the lines of Pepsi, maybe, I don't know, Sprite, we we're going to call her. <laughs> we're thinking of different names. Uh, her mum and dad are called Kit Kat and Twix. So we just thought, you know, we were sort of heading on the snack, the snack names. But then in the end, we decided on Popsy. So... Hi Claire, it's the first time you see me live. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you're joining us today. Um, I'm going to take you through how to do this. I'm just going to wait for uh, a minute, one more minute, and then we'll start. Hi Pat from Alabama and Yvonne from Dublin. Fantastic. So what I'm going to try and do, because of editing, when I usually do a live stream, obviously I'm sort of catching on comments and whatever, it's then very difficult to edit it later. So I'm going to try and sort of keep it so I, I do the comments when I'm sticking things down. Because when I edit it, they're the bits I speed up anyway and mute them, so that doesn't matter. Uh, but if I start chatting in the middle of doing something or explaining something, it then makes it very difficult for me to edit. So I'm going to try and do that. Right, I think we'll make a start. We've got 30, so I think we'll make a start. So, hi everyone. Today we're going to make this card, which is a 6x6 six six, um, internal concertina card. Now, you probably saw this on my... Um, uh coco rosa studio die video that i did um and i was planning to do a video for it anyway but it was the mitts i actually made this while i was on holiday um because i had i'd had the coco rosa dies had come in um antonio makes his papers had come in and i wanted to use both of them at the same time to kind of you know sort of mix the two together um <clears throat> but uh yeah so i actually made this on holiday so i didn't get a chance to do a video for it um with it being very busy but it is quite a nice card and it's kind of the natural progression on from the candle card, which is the last video I properly filmed. Um, and I've got another version as well in the pipeline, which I hopefully will be doing soon. OK, so for this card, you will need a few bits and bobs. Now, I've tried to make it a little bit simpler. Um, and also with the candle card that we did, we had to do the tab. So on this one, I've actually done it. A different way so you've actually got them so it's stuck to the 
piece in front so it doesn't this isn't free to kind of do whatever it wants to do so it's actually tethered down so that's what i've done that so um yeah so what we're going to do is you will need two pieces uh hang on a second why have, I, why have i got two pieces here oh yes so you need two pieces that are six by twelve i'm just looking at my instructions here and okay i'm gonna have to measure my things because my instructions don't tie up with what i've got in front of me so anyway so two pieces of six by twelve one of them you're going to just uh, fold in half if you don't have any 12 by 12 cardstock um, then use a six by six card blank um, because that will do you should be able to get six by six card blanks pretty much everywhere and that is basically what you need so if you don't have a 12 by 12 then just just do that so what we're going to do is we're going to get our scoreboard and on your first piece you're just going to score it at six inches so you're basically making a, a six by six card blank and we're going to fold that in half so you end up with that now i've got a little bit more there's a little bit more there so obviously i haven't measured it quite but i can trim that off if i need to or i might just leave it and wing it probably wing it then on the second six by twelve that you've got again if you want to use a six by six card blank you can all you're going to do on this is you're just literally going to score it um, every two inches. So you're scoring it at two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches and ten inches. So that's literally every every two inches. OK, so I'm going to fold this in a minute. But while we've got the scoreboard out, we may as well do the other pieces. So then you need two pieces. Now, these can be base card pieces if you want. So if you're using white for your card blank, you can go ahead and use white again for this. But I decided to go for a different colour. So on my original card, I've got green as my card blank colour. And then this front panel is red. And then this these two at the back here are white. OK, so you can you can mix up your colours. So I'm actually going to be doing red for my front, my card blank red for my inside piece and then pink for these two pieces here okay so these two pieces that you need for your like back sort of i don't know what you call them but the back pieces these measure four and a half wide by six inches tall and along the four and a half inch edge you're just going to score at two inches and at four inches and you need to do that on both pieces so you're going to score at two inches and at four inches so that gives you those two pieces so let's put our scoreboard away okay so then what we're going to do is if we bring back our big long piece that we had just now the six by twelve we're then going to do um mountain valley mountain valley we're just going to concertina fold it so the first fold you want is going to be a valley so you're going to go valley mountain valley mountain valley all the way across now, I could, if I wanted to, go for this, because I've actually got a double-sided piece of card, but no, I think I'm going to use the red on the front. So we're going to go and fold it all up, and just make sure when you're folding it, make sure that it lines up along the top and it's not going squiffy, because it's very easy for it to go squiffy. Yes, Karen, it is a fun, it is a very fun card to make. <laughs> um, it's not too bad, actually. It looks worse than it is. It looks more complicated than it is. I'm going to have to turn this around so I can get it nice and straight. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Hi to everybody else who's joined. Um, oh, there we go. So that's that one done. Okay. Right. So when you've done that, you should end up with this. This is what it looks like. So it's basically a concertina. So we're going to put that to one side for a moment because we're going to um, decorate it in a minute. And then this one here, these two pieces here, as I said, are these white pieces in here. So I've got these white pieces here like this. So what you want to do is whichever side you want facing. So I'm going to have this pink side, plain pink side facing rather than the pattern side. They just all need to be valley folds, basically. So you're just going to fold them all as valleys. And you can do that on both pieces let's fold this in so as i was saying a minute ago i am going to be editing my live streams 
I don't know how regularly I'm going to, it depends on how much time I get. Um, my son's just started a new school and his first half term holiday, he's got two weeks holiday. So I need to be getting myself ahead with videos so that then you guys don't end up like we did for summer. <laughs> so anyway, right. Okay, so then you end up with these two pieces here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and decorate because it's better to decorate now before you put the whole card together. So let's start with the card blankets first, the card base, card blank. So you've got your six by six card blank. So you're going to need two matte pieces that are five and three quarters by five and three quarters and one pattern piece that's five and a half by five and a half and one white piece that's five and a half by five and a half. Now I am using the new papers from Antonio Makes from the VIP kit. So this is out of his, I think it's the Flirty Flowers. This is, and I think this, you can't get this anymore. So if you're a VIP member back in July, I think it was, um, you will have got this. Otherwise you can't get it. But it's more of an incentive for you to go and join the VIP because they have some beautiful papers. Um, the papers that I'm using on the inside as well, um, these strips, these ones with the birds, this was also out of his, I think that was Flirty Flowers. I think, that was, I think that was July. And then this one is the new September one. So these papers with the music and the flowers, um, that's all his new um, his new September um, you know, kit. Uh, I will be doing a video if I haven't already. In fact, I think I've already done it. I'm not sure. I can't remember what videos I've done and what videos I haven't done. So anyway. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go ahead now and stick this on the front of the car blank and that one on the back of the car blank there. Okay. Hi Teresa! Yes, they are beautiful papers. They are definitely beautiful papers. Um, don't forget as well to use my code, code LOUISE10, and that gets you 10% off your orders, which is very good because if you get a subscription, you can get 10% off it. So that's always helpful. We like money off. Money off is a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and stick this on. Just checking that my card blank is the right way around. I believe it is. Yep, yeah. my folded bit. Yeah, it's, it, they are beautiful papers, Cameron. They really are. Um, and the um, the September kit is no different, to be honest with you. But for the VIP members, he's going to be bringing out Christmas soon as well. So stay tuned for that. I think late September. I think he said. Because I think he's in Italy at the moment. But he's um yeah he'll be bringing out Christmas soon. I can't wait to see Christmas. It's going to be good. I just know it's going to be good. Right, so that's that one there, like that. Okay. Right, so that once you've stuck your pieces down, you've got that on the back and you've got that on the front. So now it's just the inside we need to deal with. Now you can either use wet glue or you can use red tape to stick it together with. And when we, when we actually get to it, we're going to decorate first. But when you come to do it, it is easier to use wet glue, I have to say. So we're going to move those bits to one side. And now we're going to decorate all of these panels here and on here. So what I've done, and I made it a bit tricky for myself, is I've actually taken a sheet of the um, flirty flowers. I think it was flirty flowers. Oh, I can't remember. It wasn't the monochrome madness, that was August, and that must be July. What issue was it? I'm not sure. I'll put it up on screen. I don't know which one it is uh, off the top of my head. So these are going to go here. If you want to do a mat as well, you can, but I decided let's not make things any more complicated than they need to be. So these strips here, obviously you need six of them, and these all measure, she says quickly grabbing her ruler, these all measure one and three quarters, by five and three quarters okay so i've got six of those and so they are going to go there like that okay so those are on there like that and then you need another four pieces which are going to go on here one two three four and these are all exactly the same size so these are all the same one and three quarters by five and three quarters so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to stick down my four pieces so they're going to go on there like that and I do have two remaining pieces here and I'll show you where they go in a minute um but they're the same size again so in total you need uh six ten twelve in total twelve pieces all that are one and three quarters by five and three quarters 
so I'm now going to go and just stick all of these down hi Kiwi Carol from New Zealand I love New Zealand I want to come back to New Zealand <laughs> one day hopefully I will come back to New Zealand and visit I did love New Zealand when I went now I'll just stick these down you can use normal tape or glue whatever you fancy for this I prefer wet glue and because I'm not using um let me get the right way around there because I'm not using Miri it makes it easier for me to use wet glue it's just a bit nicer I think but easier to stick down so there we go, there we go. excuse the noisy motorbikes outside the boy races are still around still being noisy as they do how's everyone been how's your summer's been anyone been anywhere nice or done anything interesting or seen anything interesting card wise anything that you've seen you thought oh i'd like to have a go at that but i'm not sure how it you know how it's done let me know i have got a list of uh, requests already hi from north lincolnshire how is it there it's kind of overcast here it's trying to brighten up not too cold but definitely september is in the air um we definitely have got over all the heat waves now that's for sure in the uk had thundery showers last night which i was glad to see the rain to be honest we don't often say that as British people, but I was glad to see the rain. My poor garden needs water. It's sticking down. Come on, stick down properly. There we go. Right, I'm just going to keep sticking these down. So, yeah, sorry that I've been a bit absent over the summer. It's just been very busy. Uh, it's still very hot in Alabama. Yeah, I expect it is, isn't it? When does it start to cool down or does it ever start to cool down? I don't really know. I'm not very good with the way temperatures work in different places. When I went to Germany last weekend? Was it last weekend? No, the weekend before last. Was it last weekend? I don't even know. That was, yeah, mm, I think it was last weekend. It was actually quite warm. I was quite surprised. I didn't think it was going to be that warm, I have to say. But I know Europe as a whole has been experiencing quite a lot of... Um, hotter weather than normal this summer late october oh okay oh wow so you get yeah you get it warm for quite a while do you have very cold winters though or does it because sometimes i know sometimes some places have like you know very hot summers then very cold winters or is it quite mild finally cooling off in arkansas and you're finally getting some rain yes yeah, same we're finally getting some rain Everywhere went very brown, and again, I noticed that in Germany as well. All the fields as we flew in were very brown looking, very crispy looking. So, I think everyone's grateful for a bit of rain this year. But I have to say, it's been quite nice because at least where we've been able to go on holiday and stuff, I've actually been able to enjoy the weather as well. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, of course, it's winter, isn't it, in New Zealand? Yeah. I forget because I came over in August quite a few years ago now and I was thinking oh it's summer I'll take all my summer stuff and then got to New Zealand and was like oh <clears throat> oh dear <laughs> it's not summer over here because I hadn't looked up about the weather and I hadn't realised that you had obviously your summers are our winters and vice versa I didn't realise so I had to go and buy myself a coat and things which was interesting Right, so I've just got to stick a few more bits down. This is the bit I will speed up when we come to doing the edit. Why is that not sticking properly? I think it's just because I'm using glue not tape. I'm trying not to go too close to the edge because I end up with leakages. We don't want leakages. You have mild winters. Oh, really? Oh, okay, that's cool. Nice. Very nice. Um, I reckon we're going to have a cold winter this year. Because it tends to follow. We have a, a really hot summer and a really cold winter. And then the next summer's a bit wet and a bit mild. Just, not, you know, not, not particularly hot, just a bit in there. And then um, and then we have, you know, a very mild winter. And then it goes back to being hot summer, cold winter again. I've noticed that seems to be the, the pattern of things. So we'll see if that happens this year. Um, 
East Tennessee, you're heading to fall. We've been having some much needed rain, but muggy. Yeah, it's a bit muggy here, actually. It is a bit muggy here. Um, yes, it is. It is a bit muggy. It's definitely warmer than I was expecting it yesterday when I, when I went out. I was like, oh, it's actually quite warm still. Still in the 20s. 20 Celsiuses. Your weeds are looking fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I have to say, my weeds have shot up as well. And my grass. Well, my grass went a bit brown. My lawn. But then um, it's kind of recovering now. Yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of snow this year, Shelley. I think you're right. Because it does seem to go that way, doesn't it? It seems to go that we have a very hot, like, heat wavy kind of summer. And then the winter is very cold. Kind of beast from the east. That year as well, we had, I think it was the, the summer before, the summer after, it was hot. Right, okay, so once you've stuck all your bits down, you should end up with that on your on your inside piece. And as I said, you don't have to make your pattern, you know, match up, but you can. The other thing as well that you can do if you want to, if you're feeling brave, is to cut apertures out of these two pieces here. Because then you would actually see through into these little sections here. So you could do that. That is an option that you could do if you wanted to, if you're feeling brave. I wasn't feeling brave, so I'm not doing that um right so that's that one and then these are your two inside pieces so if we grab the car blank which is here what we're going to do is we concertina it up on this side here we're going to put either red tape or a strong wet glue i'm going to use a wet glue because i find it easier to position it um and get it straight and stuff with a wet glue whereas with a red tape once it's down it's down and there's no going back so i would rather use a wet glue um, than a red tape. So what we're going to do now is we're going to line up this edge and the top and bottom with exactly with the card itself. And what you can do as well is you can just lay it out just to make sure you've definitely got it straight. There's definitely no, you know, you're not too far over, you're not wonky, etc. So just line it up, make sure you are very happy with the way it is. So that's nicely lined up. I'm not, you know, I can see a little bit of the card blank above, which is fine. A little bit below, which is fine. So that's nicely lined up. And you are literally just sticking it on that first panel. Okay, so then if you fold all that up or just put it out of the way, you're going to take one of your pieces, your internal pieces, and you're going to make sure it's the one that's got the tab on the right. And what you're going to do is, is put some tape or some glue on here, and it's going to go on this card blank and butt it right up to the one you've just done. Okay, so there's the folded edge there. So I'm just gonna butt it right up to that edge. So I'm gonna put some glue on here, make sure it is that left-hand panel, not the one that's got the tab so you know, attached to it. So we're gonna put some glue on here, or you could do red tape if you want to, if you're feeling brave. And then that's gonna go on here and it's gonna butt right up to the one you've just done. And again, just lay it flat and just make sure it's definitely straight along the top okay so you've got like a little flappy bit so now what you want to do is shut that like that and then on here because that's going to go onto there like that so what you want to do is put some red tape on there i am going to use red tape on this bit not wet glue for this bit just because i don't have to worry about wiggling it around or i'm literally going to close it onto it so let me just turn this around so i can actually get a better angle just stick this on and I am using red tape that is literally the right size. So I've got to be super careful that I don't go over the edge. Okay, so back to where it should be. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take off the backing off of this tape. Like that. And we're just going to fold. So obviously, let me just open this up. So you've got this here. That's your first, as you can see, that's your first panel. Okay, and that's stuck down. Then you've got your next panel. So if you fold that over, you literally want to fold along that score line there. So it leaves you with three panels that you can see. And you're going to stick that on like that. And then if you put it upright, can you see you're just starting? So that's the first bit done. That's the first bit sorted. So before we go any further, we now need to put a pattern piece in here because with it upright like that, you can see in there 
Okay, so these two back pieces here, you can see. So that's where you want to put your pattern pieces. So let's just move that out of the way. And then I'm going to stick down those remaining two pattern pieces that I had. Those two pieces are going to go here and here. Okay, if you stick the one on the left first, because then you can see what border you've got, and then you can use that same distance um, to then stick on the other side. You're not that brave, Karen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, but with this, because you're literally closing the that's that bit on it. I mean, you can use wet glue. You can use wet glue. Um, but I find it easier to just go ahead and use red because it's literally just you're sticking it flat, so it makes it easier. All right, let's take this here, and then that is going to go here now. Okay, now when you're sticking this down, you need to make sure you're definitely sticking it in the right place. Don't go tempted to be sticking it here. You need to stick so where your halfway line is, you've got a big massive six by six square here and a halfway line. That's this is the panel that you're sticking your bit of your first bit of pattern paper in. OK, and then this one is going next to it and you can already see kind of roughly what the border is. So then you can stick this down and know relatively confidently that it's going to be pretty much even when you stick the rest of your card together. OK, so we're going to put some glue on this. And again, you could use tape if you wanted to, but I'm just going to go for this glue because it's easier to do just making sure because i've got right way up paper i'm just making sure my musical notes are the right way up and my text is the right way up okay so there we go so i've got the same border either side of that fold so i'm pretty confident that will look okay when i put everything together okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and we are going to add this tab here is going to stick to here okay so if I turn this over, the fold along here, that is going to stick onto there like that. OK, so just literally this tab is going to stick onto that bit there. And again, I am going to use, um, let me think, I'm actually going to use wet glue for that bit, I think, because this is not, I'm not just going to fold something flat onto it. I'm actually going to be getting it in the right place. So I'm going to use wet glue for this bit. It does mean I have to kind of wait a little bit for it to dry. But I think it's a, it's a good good thing to do. Right, let's check that my things are the right way up. I'm going to turn this over. Actually, I'm going to do this way around. I'm just going to marry it up with that halfway line and then just flip it over and just make sure. Yep, that marries up there. So I'm making sure that all those fold lines all butt up to each other. OK, so that's that piece done. So can you see how that is now stuck? So if I put it top way up and you see how it's all coming together, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, so that's stuck onto there like that. So now what we want to do is we are going to stick the rest of it all together at the same time. So fold. So this bit here that you've just stuck down, fold that in half. OK, this bit's going to get glued to here in a minute. But we're going to need to do this at the same time, because if you try and do this first and then come back to that, it's going to be difficult. Now, when you fold this over, if you've got any any butting up, so you see there, I've got a bit of a it's it's battling with each other a little bit. Just put with it, whichever one is the slightly largest piece. If this is larger than that one, just put it over the top. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to glue that whole both of those sections. OK, so just so you know, with this bit here, I have concertina this back in again. OK. So we're going to fold that up. So we've concertinaed it. And then I'm just going to add glue to both of these panels. So I put glue on this panel and put glue on this panel here with them both folded into place like that. OK, and now we're going to close this. So obviously we've got a whole six inch panel, a six by six panel here. We're literally going to close the whole thing and squash it flat. OK, so if you squash it flat, and obviously I've done wet glue, it should stick in the right place. When we open it up, voila, you have your concertina card all together. And all your panels should be all nicely in place. And that's how you put it together. So it's not too bad. It's a little bit tricky. You just got to 
really concentrate when you're sticking your tabs in and that you just need to concentrate really what you're doing um i definitely couldn't do this card if i had someone you know my child running around or my kitten running around or whatever or a cat asking for food i would get in a bit of a muddle but um yeah as long as you concentrate a bit then that's how it ends up so as i said these papers are from uh antonio makes vip kit i think it was july again i would i'm pretty sure it has to be july yeah and then the musical note ones on the inside are his september vip kit and there are lots of others as well he's got in there so all we need to do is just add a greeting on the front and then we're done and add in any pearls to it as well so i'm just going to stick this down it's quite bulky as well just as well just so you can have a look it's quite chunky um i actually used so for the base well for all my layers apart from the papers all of my base layers and my concertinary layers were all 200 um gsm okay and then the papers were 80 80 gsm printed paper i have quite a lot of people asking me what paper do you print out on um i will quickly grab the pack now so you can see what i'm printing this out on so if you've got a laser printer you can see what i used So at the moment I am using this and I got this from my local supermarket. This is like the one that they had. Um, it's 80 grams, it's 80 GSM and it's silky touch ultra bright. Uh, they didn't have a great deal of choice of laser printer in my supermarket. So they only had um, this one, this laser printer paper and then another one which is slightly heavier. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the one I went for uh and it works well i have to say it works really well i'm really pleased with how they print out and the weight's enough for this sort of thing um and you get a bit of a sheen so it makes it feel you know a bit more quality so that's the paper i use oh. so as i said i do have and there's another one i've got which is 120 gsm but i haven't used that yet um, I was going to keep that for printing out like the butterflies and stuff on because uh, then you've got a bit more, you know, a bit more weight for your butterflies. So, yeah, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a um, greeting on the front. I'm not going to bother with anything on the inside purely because I did think about it. I might change my mind when you see the photos. You might see I might change my mind. But it's quite busy. And I just thought you've got half birthday on the front. You've got wishing you have birthday on the back. Do you need half birthday in the middle as well? I don't know. Maybe you do, but um, I'm, I'm not sure if that's a bit overkill. So I haven't intended to um, to do it, but I have just, I literally, just before the live stream, my dyes from Coca Rosa Studio, my third drop of dyes from Coca Rosa Studio have just arrived, the ones I've just literally just ordered before I went away. And so I was wondering about using some of those on the inside because I've got some very interesting letter dies and i thought hmm i might use those or i might not so there we go and then all i want to do is add some gems i think um uh, or something i've got little got some little stars i don't know if stars are quite appropriate uh let's have a look what have we got, we've got little gems yeah i think some little gems and then i think that's that's done Right, let me just dip some of these out. And then I'm just going to stick these down. Uh, use some Anita's and a thingy bob. And I think we'll just do a little sprinkling. I go quiet it's because I'm concentrating. Uh, right, let's just do those first and then do the little ones. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember where I put my balloon in as well. You think I should leave it as it is? Oh, too late. Oh, what inside you mean? I'll say too late for the front. I've started. Yeah, on the inside, I think I probably will. I think it's a bit busy to be adding happy birthday and whatever. Use my sticky sticker thing. 
yeah i i think i probably will leave it as it is to be honest with you i think i think it's going to look a bit too busy if i start adding other things i think if i use a plane of paper it would have been fine i'll just clean that somewhere there it is uh where's my glue gone there it is i can't see my little glue drops these little gems are literally just because i want a little bit of sparkle on the front but they're not very in your face so i'm hoping that they will be okay it just catches the light this little spots just catching the light hopefully and i'm only using the little ones not the big ones and then i think that is it yeah you could probably do with a couple more just the way it's catching the light i'm just going to do one up here and one over here and where did I put that one there? Can't see me glue. My sticky picker upper thinger, whatever it's called, this thing for picking up gems is not as sticky as it used to be. And I've tried doing all the things you're supposed to do to make it more sticky. Um, yeah, we'll leave it like that, I think. We'll leave it like that. Just got a little few gems. Probably need something else, but anyway, that's fine. So yeah, so there you go. That's it. That's my card for today. So let me just put this back in half. Um, it's quite a relatively quick live stream today. 35 minutes. Not very long at all. Yeah, I, I do forget where I put the glue. <laughs> it's terrible. It's like, I can't see it. So, oh, these gems as well. These are, oh, it doesn't say. These are from Lucy's shop anyway, these gems. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're like little, um, little faceted gems. They're very nice. But yeah, so there we go. So there's your finished card. So there's your finished card, all nicely done. And your inside and your musical notes on the inside as well. And then I've got wishing you a happy birthday on the back. And so this, the footprint of this is six by six, fits in an envelope for six by six. If you wanted to size it down, so I have quite a few people saying that they, you know, six by six is too big for them. Um, you can easily size it down. If you want to do like, I don't know, a five by five, you could. All you need to do is just need to make sure that your inside piece is, this bit here is basically your five by five card. Um, and then divide, whatever your length is, divide it up by six. And that's what the width of all your panels are going to be. Um, and then whatever those widths of those panels is, that's what will the, these will be. Do you know what I mean? So then, say for example, the width is one and a half. Although it probably isn't. But if it's one and a half, then this would be one and a half, one and a half, and then half. And then the height of the card. So it's quite easily to, you know, easy to downsize if you mm -hmm. need to. Um, but yeah, and as I said, if you're feeling brave, you can cut little apertures out and actually see through to behind. That would be very nice um and i might be brave enough to do that one day but yeah so that's the card for today please like and subscribe leave a comment down below hit the notification bell i'm hoping to reach 15k subscribers by well definitely by the end of the year preferably sooner if i can um it slowed off over the summer but um yeah if you can that would be wonderful so if you haven't if you're watching and you haven't subscribed please subscribe I've just found a glue dot. I didn't put a gem on. Anyway, um, yeah, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, and we'll see you all next time. So yeah, definitely Syndic. Definitely be a card that will stay out all year. Yeah, I definitely. I, I think it's one of those. I think if you gave it to the right person, they would definitely. Because especially with that, you've got nothing. You've got no birthday greeting or anything on it, have you? So you could literally use it for anything. And I quite like the fact you can... Because of the way it is, you can actually use some of those papers that maybe are a bit larger. The pattern's a bit larger. Um, so, yeah. So, there you go. So, that was a nice quick live stream, wasn't it? <coughs> I don't think I've ever done one quite so quick. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, there's the original as well. If you want, I can quickly show you my... In fact, I might just quickly show you my new Coca Rosa dies. I haven't... I've literally just had them. They've literally just come in the post. I'm just going to quickly going to show you what... Since you guys are on, since we're here... So I got, these are the dies I got. I got these, this is what I was thinking of using. Um, they're like little hexagons with alphabets in. And I thought they're quite cool. So, because um, you can make them all sort of go together. 
So that was quite a nice die. Um, again, I'll put the code up on the screen for because um, I've got a, a um, another discount code. So I'll put that up on the screen. This is a happy birthday. If you turn it around, you can see it a bit better. But I quite like it because it's got the um, shadow on it as well. So I thought that was quite nice. And I quite like the font. Sort of a bit funky. So that's cool. And then this, I thought this is going to be very useful for Christmas. And also because if you wanted to, you could split them and have two. Or you can layer them up. So I just thought, yep, yeah, that looks nice. This one, which is a happy birthday one with balloons going up. And again, quite like the font, quite like the size of that. It's quite a decent, decent size. That's like what? Four and a half? Four and a half inches wide by five inches tall. So that's nice. Good, good size. And, and again, useful because you could actually cut your balloons off, have them separate. You could just have happy birthday with the rainbow. There's all sorts you could do. Take the rainbow off. Yeah, loads. Um, and then this one I really liked as well. Turn it over. So Mary and Joseph with the crib. Really like the little the rays. You could do inking. You could uh, piece bits in. Just thought that was cool. These stars. I really like these stars. You can have them going up. You could have them coming down. You have them coming in from the side. You could do all sorts. You could cut them off. You know, you just use them as stars. You could even use, you know, take all your stars off and just have like the prongs and have baubles hanging off them. So again, I quite like that. And then last but not least, a whole bunch of snowflakes. And I just thought these were beautiful snowflakes. They're very different to what I've seen already and what I already have. So yeah, so I thought, right, I'm going to get me some snowflakes. Because they're quite starry. That's probably the most snowflakey snowflake out of all of them. The rest of them all quite like stars. So yeah, so that was that one. So that was my purchases from um, my order from Cagrosa Studios. And that took about, I would say, maybe two weeks to come. So not too bad, really. Uh, seven dies. Yeah, so that's not too bad at all. So yes, right, I'm going to poodle off and say goodbye to you all. I hope you enjoyed today. I am going to have fun with those pats. I am. I am definitely going to have fun with those. Um, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm going to, I was hoping to use some today on today's card, but because they literally just came, I was like, mm, actually, maybe, maybe that's not going to happen. So, but there will be a video coming up where I show you the new dies and I show you um, what I've done with them. So, yeah. So yeah, so I'm going to poot laugh, everybody, and I will see you next time. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I shall definitely be trying to keep up with my videos and do Friday and Sunday as usual. Apologies for Sunday, this Sunday just gone. I I literally got to like four, five o'clock and suddenly thought, oh my goodness me, I haven't uploaded a video. Because I was thinking it's really weird, I've not had any comments through, and then I was like, oh, I haven't uploaded, that's why. So... <laughs> Yes, there we go. But as I say, it's been rather hectic and rather busy. So that would be that would be the reason why. So yeah, so I hope you all enjoy the rest of your days. Um, and I will see you. I'm hoping to live stream again next Tuesday. As I said, I'm going to try and edit this at some point and get it up. Uh, I'm not sure when it's going to go up, but it will go up at some point. Um, but yeah, so hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Have a good rest of the week, everybody. Okie doke. Bye. Good. You made notes. That's good. It's me trying to go and I'm, I can't go. <laughs> good, Rita. Right. See you all later, people.